forecast for Saturday, July 20th. Okay, so we have the moon in Capricorn energy all day because of course we're building towards the full moon in Capricorn popping off here on the 21st when we reach the critical karmic 29th degree. We're definitely feeling the pressure. We're being kind of shaken and stirred, if you will. Our structures, our physical realm really pushing us into a choice point. This particular full moon, yes, there's a moon guide. Yes, there's an astro forecast. Yes, consult your zodiac forecast as well. But it is an ending, a closure point to a lot of the confusion, a lot of the uncertainty, a lot of the disruption that we face, that we experienced way back at the beginning of Cancer season. Why? Because we had the first full moon in Capricorn pop off at that one degree. We were very, very overwhelmed at that time. We didn't know if we were coming are going. Many of us may still find ourselves in that particular situation, but realistically speaking, we know what we're not going back to. Those particular timelines, that particular structure, that particular aspect of our physical realms is no longer alive and well. So there's a lot more clarity coming at us with this particular full moon. There's a lot of closures coming with this particular full moon as well. And of course, today we have Mars moving out of the Taurus energy, moving into Gemini energy, which is going to be a totally different mood, totally different attitude as well. If you haven't listened to that astro forecast, I'm going to recommend you do so. Bust out your Cancer season e-guide. We have two major events popping off before we shift into Leo season. That's coming at us as well. And as we near the end of Cancer season and reach those latter degrees the intensity the pressure is definitely going to be felt so with all of that being said there are 10 different aspects popping off here today eight of them are going to involve the moon the moon in Capricorn energy going to make a little bit of an awkward interaction with Uranus, the great awakener in Taurus energy. So this is a little bit of a realization on what needs to change. We're starting to feel very uncomfortable in our physical realms, although many of us feeling that un uncomfortability already. We're starting to kind of see where it is that certain doors are closing. And even though we're kind of twisting the knob and trying to see if we can still open them, we are very much coming to the realization that we cannot go back this is our pivot point this is our catapulting point we do have some debris that we're going to have to clean up we are in cleanup mode right now however it is becoming very clear even through disappointment where it is that we can't go back what it is that is no longer going to be a topic and a theme in us moving forward and where it is that we have to start kind of pivoting and doing something different in order to create a different result the moon is then going to make a very harsh interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, blessings, wisdom in this Gemini energy. That's why we're divided. That's why we're torn. That's why we're kind of looking at our options, at our opportunities. One is more favorable over the other. One makes more logical sense. One makes more intuitive sense. And of course, we're trying to figure out from our higher selves what path we're actually being called to pursue. Because this is a not so nice interaction, we're very low on our optimism at this point. We're a little bit of a negative Nancy. That definitely comes with the moon being in Capricorn. But Jupiter, who usually gives us optimism and confidence, usually kind of encourage us to dream the bigger dream. The moon in Capricorn needs us to not do that because sometimes we dream too big of a dream, very unrealistic. Then we set ourselves up for disappointment and then we're really down on ourselves. So the moon in Capricorn trying to bring a little bit of realism into our situation and circumstance at this point, not saying that we don't have some beautiful options and opportunities for growth, for evolving to actually move on, to move forward. But we have to be a little bit more grounded, a little bit more centered in trying to weigh the pros and cons of these particular choice points before we're actually going to see any kind of movement in a new direction. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Mars. Mars being the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, 
our desires, even our anger in the final degrees of this Taurus energy. Again, earth on earth, we are starting to feel the ants in our pants. There's an edginess. There's a restlessness. There's an agitation, a frustration building within us because we're very excited to break away from this fixed earth energy that Mars has been semi stuck in. And we're excited to move on. We're excited to actually make a move to actually pursue something new to actually open up our mind to see where it is that there are paths opening up for us that we haven't been able to see as of yet again blinders have been on in this taurus energy and we're about to blow these blinders off in gemini energy the moon is then going to make a very positive interaction with neptune neptune of course ruling over our dreams our intuition our creativity our soul self our karmic chapters Neptune is retrograde in his place of power here in the Pisces energy in the final degrees of Pisces energy, mind you, which means that we are kind of dealing with life as it is not for the way we wished it would be. We are in clean up time. When I say to you that the solstice activated different timelines, different soul contracts that essentially close the door on some of the old aspects that we cannot go back to. It's just like a storm. The day after the storm, we have to go out. We have to take a lay of the land. We have to kind of take stock, take inventory of the damage that has been done. We have to clean up the debris. We have to really provide endings and closures before we can actually move on and pursue something new. What I love about this is that it's inspiring in a realistic way. We're not living in la la land. We're not in imagination land. We're actually seeing, again, taking a lay of the land, what needs to be done. Yes, we have new goals, new visions, new dreams that we are anxiously trying to work towards, but we cannot build something new on the foundation that has crumbled. We have to clear that debris away, clear the space, clean the slate for us to be actually able to build something new in the place of the things that, of course, are crumbling and are now destroyed. We have Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, making the very last aspect before shifting into Gemini energy. And of course, if Mars is at the 29th degree, what else is at the 29th degree? That's right, Neptune. So Mars is going to be sextiling Neptune, and this is going to be a little bit of a refresher, a little bit of a reminder a little bit of an excitement, an encouraging type of energy, an inspiring type of energy to get focused on our goals, on our passions, on our desires. Yes, we are really kind of scratching the world around us, scraping, if you will, any silver lining that we can hold on to right now to be excited and inspired because, I don't know, side note, take a look around, place is kind of ugly as of late. However, we are being downloaded with a new intuitive compass. We are essentially getting geared up for this green light go ahead with Mars now moving into Gemini energy in just a couple of hours. So the moon is now going to make a positive interaction with Jupiter. We are building up our self-esteem. We're building up our confidence. We're building up our optimism. We're plucking out the silver linings. We are tapping into new inspiration. We are building in excitement and motivation and determination to actually pursue something new. The moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Saturn, who rules over the Capricorn energy, of course, Saturn being the Lord of Karma, retrograde in this Pisces energy. We are definitely taking a good look at what has been destroyed, what we need to remove, where we need to build something new in the place of the things that, of course, we cannot go back to. Saturn wants us to build a new foundation, a new structure, especially based off of our new beliefs, the belief within ourselves the belief within the greater, grander collective, the belief that our higher self is calling us to do and pursue something new that is going to reach our soul's mission, our soul's potential. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in the heart and soul of the Zodiac in this Leo energy. Side note, Mercury is now in the pre-retrograde shadow period. Take a good look around at all the technology that just failed, especially in the US of A. This is no joke, okay? This is a reset, 
We are in new timelines. We are in new karmic chapters. I cannot emphasize this enough. We have to have things breaking down in order for them to be removed in order for us to have a clean slate to build something new in the place of the things that we can no longer pour into. The moon is our heart space. Mercury is our head space. They're getting along. They're on the same page. We have realistic ideas. We have realistic goals. We have a realistic focus, a realistic perspective. We are definitely making some progress here with our thoughts, with our ideas, with our to-do list on what needs to be done. 4.43 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mars shifts into Gemini energy. You are going to feel this in your mood, in your attitude, in your headspace, in your heart space. You are going to feel a pep come back into your step. You are going to feel the want, need, and desire to go out in the world. You're going to feel the want, need, and desire to make moves, to take action, to actually see some physical progress in our physical realms. Again, please listen to the astro forecast. Please listen to your zodiac forecast. Please bust out your cancer season e-guide. We have a lot of energy shifting here before we close out cancer season. The last thing that we have going on here today the moon in Capricorn going to get into the boxing ring, fight it out, create some tension, illuminate conflict on where it is that we're going through, what it is that is just pressurizing us. We are growing through what it is that we're currently going through. Does it feel good? No. Is it supposed to? Absolutely not. The moon getting into the boxing ring with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy is going to have us down on ourselves. Okay. So we just had this huge push of energy with Mars moving into Gemini energy. We're rapidly processing the options, the opportunities. We are so pent up with energy, with aggression, with frustration, with excitement, with inspiration. We don't know what to do with ourselves. So what happens when we don't have an outlet for that energy we sit in it until it starts to turn on us this is when we start kind of questioning do we have what it takes to actually make the changes that we know that we need to make are we actually capable and able to do the hard things which just happen to be the right things in order to clear away this debris and actually start building towards something new negative nancy is coming out to play debbie downer is coming out to play the whole damn mean girls crew coming out to play in order for us to beat ourselves up break ourselves down in order for us to really understand where it is that the egoic programming, our fears, our doubts, our insecurities are getting the better of us. Now, does that mean that we're going to do a deep dive into the darkness and set up camp there and live there forever? Absolutely not. But sometimes we need to be hard on ourselves. We need to be a little bit tough to break ourselves down in this way in order for us to give a head, a shake and get a grip and start building ourselves up in a much better, much stronger kind of way.